Hey everybody, this is Know Your Math on YouTube.com and today I'm going to be showing you how you can permanently delete your files. Now, you're probably wondering, well, when I empty my trash, I'm permanently deleting my files. Well, that's not the case. And no, going to Finder and saying secure empty trash isn't making sure that they're permanently deleted. It's basically just eliminating a connection between you and that file, but there still are remains of it around your screen. Now this is only for deleting files. If you want to permanently uninstall applications, you'll have to see my other video and that'll show you how to do it using App Cleaner. So basically there's two ways to do it. First is with a free widget called Shredder which is right up here and it allows you to virtually scran, sh shred your documents. Now this little button over here will switch from green to yellow to red and that will indicate your shred level. Green is low, yellow is medium, and red is high. Now you should choose that based on how well you want it to be gone. If you want it to be permanently deleted forever make sure you have it on high but if you have it on low you have to remember it's basically the same thing as emptying your trash so I'm gonna put that on high and I'm gonna take my folder which I want to delete and while it's still selected hit whatever activates my dashboard it may be an, a function key or your middle mouse key and drag it on now if you want to change your shred level, you could always hold it over the button and it'll change. And then just drop it right on. And this will give the appearance that it's shredding. And it's now gone. That's one way to do it. Now, the other way to do it is through a terminal command. Now, the terminal command is a little bit easier because you can do multiple files at once anywhere from 1 to 10 billion files one time really quickly you don't have to wait at all so you're gonna wanna make sure to drop all your files in the trash anyway because you're going to need some sort of directory where you can just drag everything that you don't want and just put it into terminal so I have five files here and just to give you an example it's 26.8 megabytes now, while that is basically nothing, the uh, this is basically only for demonstration, so I'm just going to work with this. And now we're going to open Terminal. Zoom in here. And you're going to want to type in sudo, S-U-D-O, space, R-M, space, dash, capital R, space. Make sure you have this little space here, otherwise it won't work. And since this is a sudo command, you will be required to type in your password at the end. So now just open up my trash, hit command A to select them all. And that's basically why you should put them in your trash because it's just easier to select them all. Click, hold, and drag them into terminal and it will create more text. Now what you're going to do is hit return and it's going to say password. Now when you type in your password you're not going to see the letters or little bullet points appear. It's going to be completely blank. So you're just going to have to type it as best as you can. So let me just type my password and there you go. Now in an instant they're all gone. They cannot be found anywhere. Now that's a little better than the shredder widget because as you notice it took a couple of seconds before it was able to actually delete it permanently and the terminal's pretty good because instantly gone. Now don't remember, don't forget to check out the Know Your Mac website knowyourmac.webs.com and I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and I hope you subscribe.